All right, now let's get into the fish. But first, it looks like we've got a big box of plants here in the way, so the staff are reaching out for those, and we'll get into uh, those out of the way. And let's get some fish happening, girls. They're unpacking it as we speak. All right, first one's into the box here is we have some coolie loaches. Now, these have been really, really good size at the moment, your striped coolie loaches. You can see them there looking like a bag of worms swimming around. Really cool fish. I, I absolutely love my loaches. We've got really good size clown loaches in store at the moment and your regular clown loaches. We've got uh, dwarf loaches at the moment, little chain loach. We've got your black coolies. I think we've got some neon coolies. Um, we've got your yo-yos. So, and we, we still have a few hill stream loaches as well, the little Borneo. So we've got a lot of loaches at the moment, but nice fresh bag of coolie loaches just coming in. Let's see what else I've just dumped into my box. All right, the opaline grommy, or the blue opaline grommy. Okay, so one of the uh, nicer blue grommies, a larger grommy. Gets that marble black pattern throughout the body. Nice fish. We've got these, we've got three spot blue, we've got opaline blue, uh, we've got pearls, we've got gold. We've got all the grommies in store. Really nice shipment of all oh, these are nice. Guppies, guppy, guppy. Guppy is the flavor at the moment. So here we have your Koi Tuxedo. Actually, sorry, no, they're not. They're, they're platinum. They're platinum red tail tuxedo guppies. And uh, what we've actually got at the moment is we have short body guppies. We don't get them very often. We have them both in these guys as well as we have them in your uh, neon koi or your gold koi, depending on what you want to call them, guppy. We actually have short bodies, male and female. So they're really cool. These are the other koi guppies we are just talking about. This is your neon koi or your gold koi. So these guys have that lighter uh, color body with the red nose and the red tail. Now we are going to move through this pretty quickly because there's about 20 boxes over there. The girls are dumping them in on the already. So we have some danios here. So these are a long fin zebra danio. So they've got the long flowing fins on them. Zebra stripe pattern. Really, really easy to keep fish. Probably the easiest fish to keep alive, this one. All right, so it's a really good beginner's fish for kids because it's also very, very active, swimming around like crazy. Now, I'm just going to put this guy in his home here behind me, save the girls trying to put them away. Oh, I love these. If you know me, you know I'm a cichlid man. I love my cichlids. These are Demasoni or Demon Sonai, Demon by name, Demon by nature. These are one of the dwarf Mabunas. Both male and female are absolutely stunning. Black and blue vertical barring. They're absolutely stunning, stunning Malawi cichlid. They're, they're a small baboon, they don't get very large, but they do say demon by name, demon by nature, because these guys can, keep, even though they're small, they can keep their own. They're quite feisty um, to each other, um, but they do really well in a large community tank with lots of other cichlids. Um, but breeding them, that can be a bit of a challenge because of their aggression. But yeah, that's your demon so nice. So demon by name, demon by nature. Though. All right, my box is filling up very fast, so let's get moving as quick as we can. Really, really, really good size uh, black phantom tetra. Looking in the bag there, I can see good amount of male and females. The females get those little red pectoral fins on the bottom. Uh, males then you know, get all black with a diamond on the side and put on the real big show to the girls in the tank. Really interesting tetra. Uh, really good size. They're about three and a half to four centimeters, which is a good size tetra. All right, more guppies. All right, this is the male to those gold neon koi that we had up earlier. This is the male version. Before it was the female, so if you want to breed them, we've got male and female, as well as we do have these in short body. So if you're into that ballooned-shaped fish, we do have ballooned guppies. We don't get them all the time. It's not for everyone. It is a deformity, but, you know, some people dig that. We might have to empty some of those down. All right. They're coming out fast. We get these every week. We mention them every week. The electric blue yabby. Really, really hard to see in the bag there. We'll see if we can get him out. Have a bit of a closer look. See if he doesn't bite me. He's doing his best. All right. This guy here, you can see on the camera there, the blue coloration on it. Once we get this guy in the tank, oh, he's, getting, he's trying to get me. He will go really, really blue. He will molt a couple of times. He'll get bluer and bluer and bluer and bluer. This is your electric blue yabby. Got these at home in my tank as well uh, with some rainbows and they are intense blue. Once these guys start to molt, uh, which they would molt frequently, they will go really blue. We've got some in the tank here below us already and they are sensational blue. Uh, well, let's get this guy in some water with them. That rubbish out of the way. 
All right, another cichlid. Okay, so here we have the mangano or mangano. Uh, it's pseudo It's a, I think, a, a, maybe a little bit of chromis or pseudotrophus. Um, can't really remember the gene of these guys. Yes, to breed them. Uh, what we look for with these guys is males and females to have that dark pattern, which these guys do. Uh, really good means it's a really good quality line when you can very, very hard to tell male and female. They also a very aggressive uh, mabuna, long and slender shape, stunning fish, very popular, really cool fish. If you're into mabunas, we, we have here probably uh, 35, 40 different type of mabunas at the moment. Uh, if you're into those kind of fish, I, I do, I like them, just to breed them. I had about 60 varieties at one stage at home. All right, here we go. We've got a little, uh, this time a little barb. This is your common cherry barb. Okay, so it's just a, this is a much more peaceful barb. So it does do well in the community aquarium. It's a smaller version of barb. Um, not as nippy as your tiger barbs. It is your ch uh, cherry barb. So this guy here, you feed it some good color foods and it will go really, really red. So we feed here ours Aquamunch. So we feed ours Aquamunch gel as well as Aquamunch color flakes. And they go really, really, really red, like really red. You come into my store and you'll see these are glowing in our tank. Talk about glowing. Here we've got another sensational fish. And this is your albino fire red cichlid. Really deep coloration, as you can see at the moment. I believe the wholesaler of these is feeding the Aquamunch foods to keep the color in the food. Um, yeah, really, really good color in them. So that's the... Uh, fire red albino so uh, these do freak out some of our customers that come into our store and they say oh i like that fish but i just don't know if i can have it because it's got a red eye you know they don't like that everyone associates red eyes with demons so um they get freaked out by them. but if you don't like the red eye we do have these in store at the moment as well non-albino with a black eye so we have the albino version as well as the non-albino version now the albino version does tend to get a little bit more red to be honest all right now this guy here, um, not gonna. Uh, let's see if we can get him on camera. Oh, there he is in that little gap there. If you look carefully, you might see it. All right, this is a Kelberry peacock bass. So we did get some of these in a couple of weeks ago, and they sold out very, very quickly. Oh, there he is. Good size. It's the full length of the bag. That's an easy tw 10 to 12 centimeter in size Kelberry peacock bass. So uh, we've only got 10 of these. Last time they sold out, I think in about three days. So don't miss out. They, we do buy the bigger ones. So these are larger than some of the cheaper ones out there. This is your Kelberry Peacock Bass. Really cool predator. Really big fish for those American or those predatory fish keepers. All right, moving on. The African butterfly fish. We we'll get these whenever we can. They're really cool fish to put in your top tanks and look at them swimming around. They look really cool looking down on them. They are from Africa. They're your African butterfly fish. And if you look carefully on the camera there, you can see why they call them the butterfly with those fins there hanging up. Really cool fish. They are surface swimmer. That one there, you can see hanging around the top there, up to, uh, looking for an insect or something to fall on the water, and they'll just smash it up. Really cool. We keep them in with our discus. So you do really well with the discus here. All right, we're talking about gromies before that. We had some honey gromies. Look at the color on these honey gromies. Really red. Now, these are the honey gromies. They're not your red dwarf gromies or your flame dwarf gromie. These are honey gromies. Honey gromies are a lot easier to keep. Now, if you're watching uh, Nick's Keeping Fish Simple the other night, you would have seen he talked about the seven most difficult fish to keep, and he talked about gromies being one of them. The dwarf gromie, it can be a little bit of a mm, All right. This guy here, though, this is the honey grommy. Now, Nick said these were quite aggressive. We would have to disagree with them. We think the honey grommy is far more peaceful grommy than any of the other grommies and does really well in those tropical uh, community environments compared to your dwarf grommy, which can be quite aggressive, including your other ones like your opaline, your yellows. They can be quite aggressive as well. But the dwarf grommies are quite hard to keep uh, and they are aggressive, whereas the honey grommy is not as aggressive and is super easy to keep. All right, oh, nice color showing on this yellow fella. All right, this is your, your uh, Bemba Red Trophius. Now, if I can get him to swim up there so we can get some look on him. Even though he's three and a half, four centimeters, he's quite small. He's got really good red band on it already. So uh, really good potential showing on this, this particular one in here, uh, this little Trophius. Now the Trophius, 
Uh, you do have to be mindful of what foods you feed them. Uh, if you watched uh, uh, Katie Sickler's video the other day, you'll see she's feeding Acromunch Colour Flakes to her tank with Trophius. Now, you can feed Acromunch Flakes to your Trophius. They are completely safe because they are a green-free product. All right, so these are really cool little fish. All right, moving down. Oh, another interesting character, spotted head standards. Now, the girls are still over there unboxing. They're not even halfway through, and they're piling me up, so I've got to get quick. Spotted head standards, really cool fish. They call them head standards because they spend all day pointing their head down at the surface. They're almost fixated on the pebble, staring at the ground. So that's why they call them the head stander. Really, really cool fish. Like, I really like them. They're really characteristic. All right, now it looks like here we've got another Tanganyika in this one by the looks of it. Uh, it's a fasciatus. Uh, it is the Alto Lemporiogus fasciatus. So a little, nice little long, slender Tanganyika cichlid. We have quite a lot of Tanganyika cichlids at the moment. I think last week we got Sex fasciatus, so like your poor man's fronties, but yellow came in yesterday. Uh, uh, not yesterday, last week. I'm not sure if we got those on camera. Moving on. Ah, these are the cutest little fellas. Baby barramundi. Now, when I say baby, these are baby. Look at the size of them. They're so small. When they're this size, they've just got that really cool marbling pattern and that little white blaze down the front of them. Now, don't, don't be tricked into buying this guy on its cuteness because eventually this guy can get over a metre long. And uh, in your aquarium, he will eat something half the size of him. So at this stage, they can be quite difficult to feed. So we'll get them onto some pellets. Um, Maybe some, maybe even some live Daphne at this size, they probably eat that uh, and get these guys eating. Uh, they grow exceptionally, exceptionally fast, exceptionally fast. Oh, that's a cool fish. Oh, that's a cool fish. We got lots of cool stuff coming through. Let's get this one out of the way. Looks like another Tanganyikan. I think it's the Aridus Tanganyikan. We haven't had these in store at the moment. They're not a super popular Tanganyikan. They're just something different. And he's really trying to get out of that water. So we might get him, hand him over to the girls and get him into a tank really quick. They start jumping like that. It's usually a sign they're not happy in that water and they want out. All right, moving on to more guppies. All right, so we have here the Calico Liar Tail Guppy. All right, so this is a Calico Liar Tail. Lots of red and yellow in this fella. And it's got the, being the liar tail or the forky tail or the twin tail, it's got that twin tail on it. So uh, lots of lots of guppies here at the Cran Central at the moment. If you saw our newsletter go out, uh, we, we would have 50 varieties and about 20 different types of pairs. Now, we don't have them all online, so um, it's just too much work to get them all online. So those who are waiting for them to come online, uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, often we sell up before we get them online. If you're local, come on down to the store. If you're into guppies, we've got heaps and heaps and heaps of guppies. All right, another African cichlid. And this is, looks like a Taiwan reef. Yep, it's a Protomelis, yeah, Protomelis Taiwan reef. Hasn't got the color in the bag and it won't have color at this size, but we'll get it onto some food that's really gonna help enhance its color and get it showing off. But these are quite a cool fish. They've got sort of a, uh, the Taiwan, or sometimes they call them the Stephen I Tiger Taiwan Reef. They've got that little bit of a yellow, a little bit of a tiger banding pattern on them, a bluish face, a little bit of green. Um, yeah, so someone's asking questions if we post. We post all over Australia our live fish. Of course we do. If you're in New Northern Territory or, w or Tasmania, you need a permit. For those WA watches, you do have a quarantine charge over there, but we do ship WA every week. Uh, Tasmania and Northern Territory as well, but you do need a permit. All right, so moving on. Uh, peppered Corys, nice, healthy batch of Peppered Corys. Look at them. Really cool, healthy fish. So um, really nice looking ones, actually. Lots of nice green, marbly, spotty pattern on them. That's why they call them the Peppered Cory, because that spotty pattern. Now, let's show this one off, because it looks like we've possibly got a puncher in this bag, and the air is leaking out. And it isn't an empty bag. I know it looks like an empty bag, but it isn't an empty bag. There is a fish in there, but he's hiding on the bottom. There he is. Look at that. It's a freshwater sole sticking there on the bottom. Cool fish. We put these in our tank and they whoop under the gravel and they disappear and they've got little beady eyes sticking out. Uh, they're really cool. They, they actually do really well in your community aquariums. Uh, we've been we've been sitting on a few here hidden in our tank the other day. We we're gravel cleaning and out come these soles from under the gravel. And we thought, well, we forgot you guys were in there. Um, but yeah, good size. 12, 12 centimetres, this one. All right, now we've got some uh, peacocks. Now, we did get some specialty peacocks in today. Um, now, if you have tuned in, it does look like it's going to be a long one. 
they're still unboxing and we're uh, 17 minutes in we could be here for an hour anyway we move as quick as we can this is the Habentii the Fort Maguire uh, peacock these are imported peacocks there is male and females there but we can't tell uh, because they're too juvenile um, but these are cool they look very similar to a Nagara flame tail this fella if you want to have a look with it they will have that one on the website hopefully by the weekend more african cichlids all right so the christii or uh the malawi hawk uh is this guy here look at this pretty cool now this guy's a little predatory fish he likes to hide uh, underneath a rock or next to a rock and he sort of waits for the fish to swim by and gone and um, really cool fish these so when they get their color lots of males will get lots of multicolored bits of blue bits of green little bits of red on oh, no, a really, really cool fish. Big, one of the bigger uh, African cichlids. Really nice fish. All right, something different is some um, Otto Cinclus. Now the Ottos. Now the Ottos are a great little nano algae cleaner. Now you do have to be mindful when you buy uh, Ottos. Please make sure you drip acclimate your Ottos into your new environment. The thing about the Otto is, is once he's settled in your aquarium, he's quite hardy, but changing water so going from our water to your water or from our suppliers water to our water is the challenging time that first 24 hour period so do drip acclimate them but these guys do a great job of cleaning the algae off those small tanks they won't hurt your shrimp so they're a shrimp safe fish so that's the otto sinkless algae eater now some people say they eat the black bed i think they just trim it i don't think they really get rid of it all right moving on more grommies we mentioned these earlier this is uh, the pearl grommie, so it is also one of the uh, larger grommies, and it's hard to see um, in the bag there with the glare with the door open. Maybe one of the staff could come around and shut the door so it cuts the glare off. Um, but these guys here, the opaline grommie, it is mottily, uh, really nice spotty pattern on it. It is out of the larger grommies. This is probably the most peaceful of the larger grommies. Gets a really, really red underbelly on it um sort of some people call them lace grommies because they've got like a lace pattern in the body so they're they're a cool grommy they're le also less aggressive so if you worry about aggression wow oh, look at these can of worms really big black coolie loaches or also known as the chocolate coolie loach really thick chunky fish look at them like i said i, I love my coolies i really love my loaches i've got some of those thai uh coolies that we got in there a couple of weeks ago the biggest coolies you've seen in your life almost as fat as your finger um, these cool these are really good they're really fat and chunky and that's your black uh, or chocolate coolie loach good little substrate coolie loach. I've still got that really cool fish there we'll get to that one in a minute all right these are also really cool and we don't get these very often and when we do they sell out online very very quickly and this is your marble hatchet fish so you can see there on camera why they call it marbled see that mottly spotty pattern on the fish it's a marbled hatchet Re also surface swimmer hangs around the top these guys here we feed install live daphnia also some instant brine they absolutely devour it down um, they are sensitive fish also so they're not for the the beginner they uh, are, can be quite touchy again when you first get them but once they settle in they're really hardy they actually do well with discus these guys and um, we also have in store at the moment the giant uh, hatchet fish we also which we don't have on our website we have albino in store we've got them in store but they're not on the website so if you hear this and you want an albino just just drop us a message online and and we can send you a bill to get those albinos there's only about half a dozen on left but if you're a collector of hatchet fish we do have albinos oh right let's start let's get this guy out all right so this is your fresh water pipe fish in here so he's there trying to turn around the bag so we want to get him over into his tank and you can see in there, it looks like a stick. This is a pipe fish. It's really, really long. They also sometimes call this a freshwater seahorse. And if you look at his nose and look at his eyes and his face, you'll understand why they call it the seahorse. Now, this is the long nose variety of the freshwater pipe fish. Now, again, sensitive fish, um, but they like quite really, really like that heavily planted aquarium. And uh, we keep them here in a nano aquarium with lots of plants and they just hang around all the leaves and do really well. All right. Now, for those viewers that have been watching and waiting for those really cool um, predatory fish, here we've got it. You're seeing them popping around. This is your tiger baisha. Uh, let's see if we can get him. It's a tiger for sure. 
Baisha, however you want to say it, but sure, I think I think it's the correct name for it. I think it's French. Um, but yeah, really, really, really cool Tiger Baisha. So they're good size now at the moment. This guy would be, you put him on a ruler, 10, 12 centimeters in size. Look like a sort of like an axolotl at this size. Got those hairy gills coming out. They're really cool. You got to dig in under our sand and they stick out their heads and they just sit there looking at you, these fellas. Really cool, really cool fish. All right. What do we got here? Oh, I think these are, uh, I can't remember their name. They're an African cichlid and they're a, a, they're a trans something or other because the female on this particular species, and we hopefully we've got some male and female, the female on this guy is absolutely stunning uh, and the male uh, is uh, the boring one. So it's opposite to your normal fish and it's the Nanochromus transvestis. So little cool little African cichlid. It is, um, they're really cool. We've had them once before and they sold out really quick. So that would be really cool. I know Brad saw them on our order form yesterday and he was super excited about getting some in. I think he wants to collect them for himself. All right, moving down. What do we got here? We've got some Apistos. Look like rednecks. One little fella in there, four good sized ones. The little one's probably a girl. The redneck Apistos. We had some really nice ones in these in store just recently. So we just got a top up. Um, they actually all look like girls in the bag. But hopefully there's a male or two in amongst them. We had all males last time, so it wouldn't surprise me if we got all girls this time. Moving on. All right, so we actually just sold out of these, so we just got some more in. I believe one of our buyers was asking if we could get more, and we weren't sure, and we did. And this is your tangerine zebra, the pulley point. So the tangerine zebra in this form here, this is the red-blue form. So what it is is they, when they're born, they can be either red or blue or they can turn blue. Okay, so the male can turn like a uh, cobalt blue, not quite as icy blue as a cobalt blue, but it's still a nice blue uh, zebra cichlid from Africa. And the females uh, are this coloration. Now the male can be this coloration also, or it can be blue. And the female stays this sort of, it's, it's like the red zebra coloration, but a little bit pinky. All right, moving on. Okay, so another cool fish. We've got a lot of cool fish coming in today. Some of these fish we haven't seen for a little while. And this is the pea puffer. There he is. I'm trying to get him to swim on the camera. Very hard to see. Oh, there he is. He's so cute. This is your pea puffer. All right. Doesn't get much bigger than this guy. This guy is basically a sub adult pea puffer. This should be ready to breed. I think we've got about 10 or 15 of these in today. Um, so these aren't the little tiny, tiny, tiny. This is, a, this is a sub adult ready for breeding. So if you don't want to give them a go, I believe they're pretty easy. Uh, is you've got some pea puffers. You do need to keep them on that live food. They love black berms. They slip. Slurp down black worms like a string of spaghetti. Uh, we feed ours black worms and Daphnia in store. And we got some more black guppies. Looks like black moscos this time. They've got the full black on it. Oh, yep, it's black, mos black mosco elephant ears they are. So they're a Dumbo black mosco. Now we'll just sell these online as black moscos. But if you're watching this video, be prepared for a bargain. You can jump on our website, buy black moscos, and we're going to send you Dumbo black moscow. So when it's a Dumbo, it's got the big pectoral fins that flap out the side and that's where it gets its name. Dumbo or elephant here, black moscow guppy. And more Darnios this time. We had the golden version of the zebra Darnio. So I love these because they bring me back to my memory of a childhood. To me, these look like Falcor, the luck dragon of the never ending story. If you've seen that, that dragon, that's what this guy looks like when he swims in the water. He's got that long flowing elegantness swimming around the top and it reminds me every time of the never ending story. So this is the gold version. They're a good size. They've got really good long flowing fin. Really, really easy to keep fish this one. All right, so let's put that one in its home over here as well and get it ready and floating and acclimating. All right, they're still unpacking over. Another African cichlid, this is another peacock. It, it is unlabeled, uh, but it definitely to me looks like a Jacob Freeburgy family. However, I'm not 100% sure, but these are special imported peacocks that have just come in. So they're not color fed, they're not glowing color like the other ones. These are a special uh, pure line of peacocks. So if you're into importing, uh, keep an eye on our website. I think we've got three or four different imported peacocks in today. Um, so. Um, can't really remember what this one is. It does look like a Jacob Freebergie by the pattern on it. 
but it's not your Eureka Red and it's not uh, your Auto Points, your others that we normally had. So it's something different. All right, it's something we haven't had before, that's for sure. All right, now these are getting up to size really quick. This is, you had the Tiger one before. This is the Senegal. This is another Bashir or Baisha, the Senegal Baisha. So really, I've got two of these at home. They're about 25 centimeters in length. I've got a male and female of these. Really cool, they go really well with my rainbows at home. They just swim around. They gobble up uh, Aquaman's gel food. We chuck it in as little blocks and they chomp it down. Got those cool little uh, nostril uh, prongs on the front of him. So this is your Senegal Baisha, otherwise known as the dinosaur fish. If you see one and you haven't seen one before, you come in and have a look. You'll understand why they call it the dinosaur fish. All right, moving on, we've got more guppies. And this time we have, a, it, is an, it is an endler. Now, there is only one true endler. So all these other versions of endlers have all come from guppies and breeding and live breeding off guppies. But what we've got here is your dwarf panda dumbo guppy, and it's the male. All right, so it doesn't show much color in the bag, but it's sort of blue and black and has uh, dumbo ears on it. And the male stays really small, and the female uh, is a decent size, like a normal guppy. All right, another type of trophius. This is a Malero red trophius this time. Okay, so before we had a really nice Bemba red trophius, and this is a Malero red. So the, it gets a sort of more maroon throughout the body, a little bit of barring on it, quite a cool fish. Where as the Bemba red has a black head, then it gets a red bot in the middle of the body, then a black tail. All right, so we've got a few trophies. We do also have the Boises in store. We've got our Colas in store. We might have firecrackers. And I think we've got a cherry spot even still left in store, if I remember correctly. All right. And, oh, these are nice fish. Guppies, who would have thought? These are your black cobra guppy. So they have a full black tail with a snake skin body. Really, really cool. I'm trying, I'm, I, you will see it on our uh, Facebook video, on our, sorry, our YouTube video because it, the quality is better. But coming through on Facebook there because we are live streaming, it does seem to drop out the quality. Bit. But have a look at that snake skin body on it and the black tail. Really healthy fish. Oh, really stunning. Shame we can't get the girls on these. They're similar to your black cheek, but don't have the black cheek on it. I actually prefer those, they're better. All right, we've got a couple more. Go oh, what we got here? Okay, they, they call these the Christmas guppy, but but it's a little bit confusing. It's not, it's not, I think it's just a fancy name because we're coming into Christmas. There is the Santa Claus guppy, which sort of looks like, a, the tail looks like a Santa Claus hat. It has that red and white, a little bit of black in it, and that's why they call it the Santa Claus guppy. Um, this one here they call, um, it's labeled as, the, it is labeled as a red snake skin, but I think they call it also the, uh, the Christmas guppy. And the reason they call it that is because it's got some green and red and stuff in it, so um, it's a cool looking guppy nonetheless. All right, so this is a incorrect identification by our suppliers. This has been labeled to us as the blue metal snake skin. Now we know what blue metal snake skins are. We get them all the time. They're absolutely sensational fish. I think we've been picked the wrong fish here. It's not a blue metal snake skin, that's for sure. It looks like to me just like those black uh, cobra we had a second ago, except for there is a little bit of greenish tinge in the tail. It's a little bit different. It's definitely not a blue metal snake skin, so we're just going to sell this guy as our sorted guppies. It's a cool fish nonetheless, but it has come in as a blue metal snake skin, but it is not. So that's a shame because uh, blue metal snake skin is a stunning fish, but nonetheless, still a nice looking fish. All right, now these are really nice. These are your albino tiger barbs. Look at them. They're actually looking really healthy at the moment. So really fat on them, good size, red nose on them even in the bag, and a real golden coloration to them. And this is a tiger barb. Now, remember your tiger barbs, they are a nippy, 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 nippy little fella. So you do need to keep them in a school to keep that, get that aggression down so they don't get bored and start nipping everyone. You keep them in a little stool, the, the nippiness seems to go away. But uh, no, not an individual fish. They're really good size. Can't wait to see those in the tank. I might get a video of those for you next week. Now, these are big. These are really big. Now, these are your Colombian tetra. All right, so your Colombian tetra, uh, it's sort of or like a neon blue body. It's a little bit iridescent blue, not as, as iridescent as the, ne the blue in the neon tetra, but it's a blue neon body, and it gets like a red fin. And it's called the red blue Colombian tetra. These are big size tetra. Like these are these are 
easy over four centimeters. Like these normally, sometimes these guys come in two centimeters. This is probably the biggest batch of these I've seen. They don't show any color in the bag, but once we get them into the uh, aquarium, get them settled in, they will have an, a fantastic color. Now, how are we going for time? Uh, we've been 30 minutes. Let's pull this over and have a look what we've got. The girls are still running fish out the back everywhere. All right. Oh, it must be Tetra week because these are looking really good as well. Look at these. Now, they look very similar to what I just brought out, but they're not. These guys are super peaceful. They get really, really big. This is the, this is, is it the gold or albino? It is albino or the golden Wana series Tetra. Beautiful Tetra. Really, really big size Tetra. If you want big Tetras to go in with big fish, these are the big fish. So these do really well with your angel fish because they're a large Tetra and they're really tight schooling. We actually had some really big seven centimeter plus normal Buenos Aires in store at the moment. If you come in the store, we've got a big balling school of them. These guys are going to look sensational next to them. And this is your gold Buenos Aires. We haven't been able to get those for about 12 months. So it's good to see them and, and really good color on them. Need to find out where they come from. We'll get more. All right. So we, we, we got some of these in early in the week. We got some more in now. We don't carry them in store all the time. And this is the Waken Goldfish. So the Waken Goldfish is the jewel of the pond. It is absolutely sensational fish in a pond. In the aquarium, to be honest, you're probably better off just buying a comet because the whole desire and attractiveness of this fish is its tail. It has this big arrow shaped paddle tail like a whale when you look from above. And it's sort of, it's very gracefully, it swims and it paddles its tail. It's often used as screensavers on mobile phones or computers because of that graceful peacefulness when you're looking down on from above. When you're looking from it sideways, it just looks like a red and white comet. When you're looking from above on your pond, absolutely sensational. This is the, this is the go-to fish for your pond. Now, we do get them in red and white or just plain red. And that's them there, as it's showing you on the camera, looking at them side on. They're nothing too sensational. They just look like a comet. But if you put these in a pond and look down on them, they're a whole nother world. All right. We had some good sized fish coming in at the moment, which is good to see. COVID, when it came through, fish sizes got really small and they're sort of just slowly getting themselves back up. All right. So what we've got here is your SAE, your Siamese algae eater. This is the true version. It is not the fake version. It's the SAE. So this guy here, it does eat blackbeard. It won't remove blackbeard and it's really, really good on hair grass algae as well. It just mow. It is a mower. It's the lawn mower of algae in the aquarium is the SAE, the Siamese algae eater. And as you can see, they're a good size. Six centimeters, seven centimeters, maybe if you put them on a ruler. Um, but they're good size. We have been coming in at three centimeters. This is double the size of what's been coming in. So I'm really stoked with those. They're really cool. Healthy fish too. Yeah, I love these. I, 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 to be honest, I balked at buying these the first time because of the price of them. And I'm like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to get them. But once I got them into the store, I fell in love with them. And my customers have as well. And this is the gold tetra. It's the Wadray tetra, but it's gold tetra, we call it, because it's a wild caught tetra. And in the wild, it picks up a parasite unique to this fish that they get along with each other and makes it excrete almost a gold enzyme on the body. It makes it look metallic gold. When you put them in a tank, I'm trying to show you on camera there, but it's not going to show you on the camera. Once you put these in a tank, you've got this. 24k reflecting gold coloration in your tank absolutely shiny 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 now you do have to be careful when you're buying these make sure you are buying the wild version and not the local bred version the wild version is the only one that will go gold these guys have to be caught from the wild to get that enzyme that parasite to excrete that enzyme it does not happen in captivity so the standard coloration of that fish is silver with a little black line on it. It's quite ordinary to look at. Once they've got that parasite in them, they're absolutely sensational. Don't worry, it's not going to spread through your tank and give you disease. It's not going to give other fish infection. It's not going to cause any problems to that fish. They get along together, okay?
All right, move. Oh, cribbies. Now, these are cribensis. They are, now a lot of people think these are an American cichlid. They are not an American cichlid. They are an African cichlid from the riverine systems. Now, they do like the softer water, like the American cichlid, but they are an African cichlid, just like your red forest jewel is. All right, so these guys are really cool. They're a sort of a cave spawn or an egg depositor. Um, the, the male and female will pair up. The female goes luscious purple fruit and yellow, and they'll, they're easy to breed. They'll lay a nest of eggs. Then they'll guard them and then they'll hatch and they swim around with the babies in this big ball and look after them. Really cool to watch. Now I did actually get, I've got some pairs of these for sale, some male and females. I also have male and female albino crebensis in store in good size at the moment, male and female pairs. We are selling the albino crebensis as pairs only at the moment. All right, so we are a pair. A male and female only, you can't buy individual. You can buy these individual, or you can buy these as a pair. And that's your Crebensis. Wow. Now, I wasn't expecting this, but these are your bandit cichlids. And they are really good size. I think we bought these as a five centimeter fish. I wish all five centimeter fish were this size. Put it on a roll, this is easily nine centimeters. That would be 10, I reckon these are double what they'll advertise to be. So a little cool American cichlid, got that bar through the middle of the body and the bar through its eye. That's your little bandit cichlids, really nice. I think we already had a couple of big ones of these in the store, so maybe we bought them a couple of weeks ago. And this got the last of them. All right, oh. they were sensational. These are a little bit disappointing to be honest. Um, these are your gold apistos. So, I have been buying from some of these from our supplier and they have been absolutely amazing. If you go back and look on Facebook, go down and find a couple of our other live unboxing videos, you'll see what has been coming in of these is your gold flame apisto. These are also gold flame apisto. I think we got all the big nice ones and we're down to the little ones now. Um, unfortunately, this size, they're too small. I can see a male, but they are too small, the sex. But maybe the other ones we got before all, they picked out all the males and sent me. Maybe these are mainly females. So maybe we can have a look and see if we've got some pairs. Um, moving on. Well, another Trophius. Now, we did have this one before, so we're just going to skip you through. That is another Molero Trophius. I need to show you that one. Oh, cool. We've got the spinies are back. We sold out of these at the start of the week and nobody had any more. And we had customers asking for them. And we're like, I think they're done. But guess what? We got them in again today. So it's a spiny eel. They are only small this year. So last year we are getting them up to 20 centimetres in size. But this year they're a 6 centimetre size. And these are really cool. You put them in there with the little hollow logs and they all jam into the log. And they all stand out with their face out in the one direction looking out at you with their little snouts. It's a spiny. They also call them the peacock eel. So spiny eels back in stock again today. All right. This one here, Australian native, is the archer fish. Now... See if we can turn him, to get him to try and lift up there. If you're not familiar with the archer fish, the archer fish, they are up in our warmer waters up north. Uh, really cool banded fish, hangs around the surface, has this unique ability to spit. All right, so it will hang around the surface of the water looking for uh, insects crawling on a tree branch above, and then it will precisely get it positions itself underneath and squirts a jet of water at the insect, and the insect will fall into the water and makes a, a tasty little treat for this guy. Do need to keep your lid on the aquarium with these guys because they have that spinning ability. Yeah, they also tend to jump. All right, so this is your archerfish. These are pure, fresh archerfish, not your, your, not your brackish. So freshwater aquarium, that's the way to go. All right, really nice, nice ones of these have been coming in at the moment. And these are your blue rams, just your standard blue rams. But they've been a really good batch coming in lately. So the last three or four weeks, really good size of the blue ram. Moving on. Now, we haven't had these for probably two, three months. And this is your panda butterfly tail goldfish. Now, looking in the bag there, you can see though they call them panda. And looking at there, one thing we do when we get these, we check them very carefully because we want to make sure they're all black and white because we do not want to send you out a black, uh, butterfly tail which is basically a black maw or a white one so we want this black and white pattern 
These are all got that beautiful black and white pattern. That's what we want to see. And it does have the big butterfly tail, does have a little bit of a telescopic eye, and that's what you expect to see in the panda butterfly tail goldfish. All right. It looks like we've got some rainbows here from Papua New Guinea. Uh, these are your lacustrous or your turquoise rainbows. So one of the sky blue rainbows. Um, they're good five centimeters in size at the moment. Probably just start to see some males turn color in the, and this size in the bag. So that's your lacustrous or otherwise known as the turquoise rainbow. Oh, some more good tiger barbs. And these guys, when you put them in the tank, so this is your platinum green tiger barb. So it's not your normal green moss tiger barb. This is your platinum green or sometimes known as jade tiger barbs. They get that uh, sort of metallic blue green color so a minty blue green you look at them the color in there in the bag and that's in the bag so once we get these in the aquarium they're actually really really cool with that blue iridescent uh green color uh on them and this game it is a tiger barb nice red fins on these guys uh, i did send this supply down a few kilos of fish food and i've got a feeling they're probably feeding that because they're looking really good um so uh really nice looking fish I love them, but you do need to keep them in a school because they nip otherwise. So don't come down and just buy one or two. Okay, now these have definitely been on some good colour food. All right, this is your albino cherry barb. Now, the males in these are called firecracker, firecracker barbs. Now, the firecracker barb, if I get it close there, have a look. You can see why. There's male and female in there. Now, we do sell these unsexed, and you do need to keep them on good colour food to keep them coloured like that. But this is your albino uh, cherry barb, otherwise known as the firecracker barb because of the colour of it. Now, if you don't feed them colour food, they will wash out. They go white with red fins. They look like baby albino rainbow sharks when they're small um, if you don't colour feed them. But if you colour feed them, the males go red, real red. And this is out under natural sunlight. We've got a skylight above us. You put this under aquarium lights, they will glow. Can't wait to see those. All right, more African cichlids. And this guy here is called the Red Thing Kadango. So also this guy is a Copodochromus. It is, again, one of the larger uh, Malawi cichlids. So it is um, a hat from Lake Malawi. And it's called the Red Thing Kadango. See if we can get it on camera. It's a, sort of a silver colored fish with red fins. Now that's the juvenile coloration or the female coloration, and that's where it gets its name from, the male of this fish. Now, when it's transitioning into male, it will go through this sort of ugly stage where the red disappears in its fin, it goes dirty brown in the body, but then the magic starts to happen. Blue head starts to pop, and the body goes intense maroon red, really deep bodied fish as well. It's not a long slender fish, it's a really deep fish, so it's a little bit different shape, uh, being the Copodogramma species. But really, I, I, the big males of these are sensational. Uh, the top fin gets this white blaze on it. It's really cool fish. So that's the red fin Kadango. More African cichlids. And this is um, another bag of the ones we had before. And again, I'm not familiar with the species, but it definitely seems to be a Jacob Freebergy family. So there is a male in there starting to color up. Uh, there he is in the middle there. But yeah, cool. All right, what else have we got? Now these are neon blue rams. Now, I didn't remember ordering these. These are quite different. They're a neon blue ram, but I'll see if I can show you on camera and you'll see what I'm talking about. They've got a black line in the middle of them almost they're, they're almost like a marbled neon blue ram that's something cool that's something different now they were just going on our website as neon blue rams but but there's almost a marbling pattern in the middle of them that's something different they're a good size they're four centimeters which is good they're above that touchy size because neon blue rams are touchy yeah cool they are cool all right now what we've got here it looks like another steve and i taiwan reef so we talked about this one before, so we're just going to push that one to the side. We've already talked about it. It's a Taiwan Reef Steve Ooh. Cool. 
All right, so this is another uh, African cichlid uh, from Malawi. It's, it is the uh, Malawi trout. Okay, so this is the Malawi trout. It's a long, long, slender African cichlid. Um, it is also another predatory fish. It's sort of, when they're young, the female or the juvenile color, uh, long, really long, skinny body, black line through it, and um, the male then gets a little bit of blue and coloration for it as it matures. So I don't think we've had them for a while, so it's pretty cool. All right, got some more Monkey Bay in, or the Gold Harb Harbor um, Lethronops. So this is a Lethronop from Africa as well, another African cichlid. It's the Monkey Bay or the Gold Harbor. These guys were quite expensive uh, not too long ago. They have dramatically come down in price. Um, these guys were the new ones kicking around. We had the uh, red cap lethonops, which are the most popular, and they are just disappearing now. They're hard to find those red caps. We're seeing more of these guys because that's what trend does. People swap out the old and get the new, and then all of a sudden the old disappears, and they're gone, and then they become rare and hard to find. So this is your monkey bay or your gold harbor lethonops. So this guy gets a sort of really nice yellow cap on it, a um, bit of coloration through the body. It's a, it's a quite a peaceful African cichlid. And looks like we've got another one here. Looks like we had a two put in the box. And that's another one there. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. Okay, so don't forget, it is uh, Black Friday. And we do have a sale on from Friday through to Cyber Monday, this Monday. Uh, we do have that fish tank at the front. It is $199.99. However, you do, if you have watched out online, there is a video going up later. Or if you're a part of our newsletter team that gets our newsletter, there's a sneaky code in there that brings that fish down tank down to $165. That is basically giving it away. That's got an LED with RGB lights in it and everything. Got moonlight control. It's a cool tank. We've got those cheap pumps. We've got black uh, ghost knife fish. We've got lots of good deals. So come on down to Aquarium Central at 11 Pike Street, Cunder Park, up here on the Sunshine Coast. Grab yourself a bargain this weekend. Uh, and if you're shopping online, that's www.aquariumcentral.com.au. I believe our redirects were broken this morning, so hopefully it's working now. But you can jump on our website, just Google Aquarium Central, click on the link, go to the site, and we ship all these fish out anywhere across Australia. If you spend over $150 on live fish only in our store, the freight is free. We do have two options at the cart there for you. Uh, we have your free freight option, and of course, if you still prefer toll, the toll option is there for you for a little bit of a surcharge. That's it, wrap, guys. We're calling it a day. We've got to get these fish in the tanks. Like you saw as we walked in, there was probably 25 to 30 boxes of fish come in today. We need to now get them released into the tanks. So see you guys next week on our come. Uh, sorry, not our compact with me. That's a Tuesday, Wednesday. This is our live fish unboxing. See you next week.